Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, I'm gonna do a little short rundown on some gear stuff I've been using. Uh, so I've been using the Vortex Defender ST on a pistol for quite a while now, and have also been running the Defender XL on my PCC. Um, I found out how, how durable it was today. It kind of fell off the table earlier and got all scuffed up, but doesn't seem to be any issues anywhere. Some stuff I'm liking about both of these optics is that the glass is very clean. Uh, and the dot is very clean and very definitive and bright, plenty bright. I've, I've not yet had to run it all the way up as bright as it would go for, uh, you know, even out in full sunlight. So pretty happy with that. Uh, seemed to be very durable as well for duty type stuff. Um, you know, I don't drop my guns and beat them up a whole lot, you know, but what I do um, is when I travel um, with the guns, you know, they're in a Pelican case and all my stuff's in a Pelican case. I'll kind of broken down and when I have this upper uh, when I travel with this gun you know I just take the upper upper and lower part and I put the lower in a bag and then the upper is in a, a scabbard that I have so it's kind of bouncing around in there pretty good and uh, seems to have done really well with that uh, holds zero nicely um, and of course you know all the shooting stuff no big deal um, I went with this on the PCC versus um, some other stuff that I've run on there um, this thing's got a really big field of view um, I think it's for my taste, it's a little big on a pistol, uh, maybe on an open gun. I think it would sit really well, but for a slide mount gun, just for my taste, you know, I really like the size of that, uh, the Defender ST on the pistol, but on the, uh, on a carbine, that bigger window, uh, I'm finding it to be really nice. Um, and I, this is a riser I had for a Delta point because, you know, they're the same footprint, uh, works really well. The whole thing is lighter. Uh, the last thing that I had on here was a hollow sun. I can't remember the name of it, uh, but it's a little small one that's uh, kind of built just for carbine, super small and really light with the mount and everything built into it. This one's lighter, you know, so when I started uh, working on this gun, I want to get it as light as I can get it. And with that optic and all the other things I've done, you know, right now this thing's sitting at five pounds and 14 ounces. So it's a good bit under um, six pounds. You know, this stock, I could go I'd probably take three ounces or so off the gun if I went to another stock, but that BCM stock is really, really comfortable. Uh, so I'm staying with it, you know? Uh, but anyway, uh, they did the, the Vortex thing to drop some, uh, drop some weight. And I felt like I have a really, uh, really big uh, field of view through the window. Definitely plenty fine. I haven't, uh, you know, PCC, if you've ever shot PCC, uh, it's a very fast thing. Um, you know, much faster kind of manipulations and, um, and you know, target acquisition stuff than say three gun, you know, because uh, you're, you're shooting a pistol match with a carbine. So I don't find it lacking at all on field of view there. Uh, this one is a five, o five MOA dot. I believe they also come maybe in the eight on the, uh, on the XL. Uh, my ST that's on my pistol has a three MOA dot. I do kind of like smaller dots as long as they're like definitive and, and bright and round. Uh, this one I think is fine for a PCC. Uh, for a 5.56 carbine and the distances we would be shooting it, I think a 5 MOA dot would be a little bit too big. I prefer something like a 2 or a 3 on the 5.56 carbine. But uh, for PCC, man, I'm really digging this thing. Uh, so if y'all want to check them out, there's been uh, my rundown and reviews on it. Uh, maybe we'll talk about the carbine a little bit more later. But just a little talk out on the uh, Vortex Defender XL and the ST that you've been seeing, seeing running around on my pistols and whatnot. All right, man. We'll catch y'all later.